But if you're using sublimation paper, your colors need to be popping off. Yo, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Hope you're all having a great day today. Anyways, so if you saw the thumbnail, I have a little issue about the colors popping off the printer. All right. And not everybody's tech savvy and everything. But first, we need it for in order for our colors, our sublimation colors, even though it's getting printed on A sub or getting printed on whatever other materials that you use that you may have. You know, you want to make sure you calibrate your computer, whether it be a laptop, you know, your monitor, desktop, and it could be for Windows or Mac. You know, they pretty much run on the same lines. All right. So. Now I'm just going to show you all real quick. This is what came out. So I did a couple tests. So that looks faded. I'm not sure if y'all can see it. That's no good. Now that's fine. This is this is how it's supposed to be. All right. So we're gonna just jump on the computer real quick. So this is what we're looking for. Probably spell it wrong, but it's calibrate display color. That's what you want to find. That's what you can type in. Let's click on that. And it's going to bring you up to this screen. And you can read the information for yourself. I'm not trying to make this a long video. And on the bottom right is the next button. And if you want to find out how, to, how do I calibrate my display, there's the little blue um, link. It'll take you to another window and you can read further. So if you hit next, gives you more information hit next set up your good ga gamma right here is the middle so if you go to next you can adjust your screen and if you unsure about the gamma you can always go back look at the good gamma go forward and adjust as needed click next talks about the brightness so if you're on a laptop like me, Windows 10, brightness, change brightness level. So you'll find your brightness level right about here, change brightness, built. But going back to the gray screen, you'll hit next and it'll talk about good brightness. So you want the middle one. Um, if you go back, you can skip it, but this is all to your discretion, but if you want to make sure your colors are coming out right, just go ahead and calibrate everything. So this is where you adjust your brightness. So you can go back to your settings, minimize it, and play around until you see the X. All right, it's going to leave on that 88. That's how I have my setup. Click next. Now for the contrast, for my situation, I cannot adjust my contrast. So it might vary for the Mac, it might vary for the desktop. So you can click next and adjust it. Keep going through the steps. Now with the colors right here, they're gonna show you this color scheme, read the information, and you can adjust your colors as needed. Okay, whatever suits your eyes, but you still wanna make sure everything is matching up. And to adjust the color, color balance, if you're unsure, just click the back button, click next, and you can play with these settings here, okay? But I'm leaving mine like that. Click next. Now the previous calibration is gonna take you to whatever your settings was before. The current cal calibration is what you have done right now. So I'm just gonna go ahead and hit cancel because I'm good to go. And you should have a brighter screen, more color details. Now we're gonna go back to the settings. All right, you're gonna find your printers. Now you can pause as needed. So we're gonna start with the workforce. We're gonna click on the 7840 or the 7820, the workforce, hit manage, 
and you want to follow the yellow mouse i'm moving a little fast but you want to click on printing preferences all right this is what you want so i'm going to click on the a sub 11 by 17 you are always going to load it in the paper tray. Anything bigger than eight and a half by 11 is going to be in the paper tray. But go ahead and pause, copy these settings. You want to make sure it's borderless, premium, presentation matte, quality is high. Okay. Print preview is optional. Go to more options. Everything is grayed out because you pick borderless. Okay. Color correction is custom. Click on Advanced, Color Controls, Epson Vivid. You want to click the slide bar and just copy these down. Just pause and copy Scion, Magenta, Scion's 2, Magenta, negative 20, Yellow's 15. Click OK. Now, the difference is with this setting, we're going to uncheck by directional printing. Okay, see where my, my yellow uh, cursor is at? That has to be unchecked. And for any sub sublimation paper, you want mirrored, okay? Now, if you flip in your design on your software, then you can uncheck it. But for the most case, mirrored image. And before you do that, click OK. You want to click on Add Remove Preset. See the, where the uh, yellow cursor is at? Click on that. Type in your name, a sub, or whatever sublimation paper you're using. You can put the document size, you know, paper tray as a reminder, whatever you want to name it. Then you can pick a different icon if you want to, and then click save underneath date and time. Once you save it, it should pop up like that. Okay, then you can close it out. I'm just going to go back and delete that. Now I'm going with the heat transfer paper, the photo paper direct. Okay, I'm going to click on this preset. Now, if you got 11 by 17, you could set two. Okay, let's copy these settings borderless. Now, for the paper type, high quality plain paper, you want that on high. All right, print previews optional. And it's going to be the same settings. All right. Custom events. All that good stuff. Make sure by directional printing is off. Mirror image is unchecked. Then add your preset. Heat transfer paper. You can always pause and go back. And then click save. Okay. And that's how you do that. Now, set one, you can use that for regular um, sublimation paper. So, you know, you got many options with the workforce. All right. Now, for the equal tank, anybody that has equal tanks that's not printing more than eight and a half by 11, well, click manage, find your equal tanks, printing preferences. All right. For the A subs, eight and a half by 11, borderless. Uncheck print preview, more options. It's going to be the same setup. Scion, magenta, yellow. All right. Make sure it's a slide bar, Epson Vivid. Pause video and save. Uncheck high speed. Check mirror image. Add or remove. Sub. Paper. Sublimation. Whatever you want to name it. Now for the heat transfer paper, this option right here, you want eight and a half by 11 borderless. All right. You want plain paper, bright white paper. Again, this is for the heat transfer paper PPD video that I did. Now you want more settings. What you want is high quality. So if it's over here at speed, you want to move it all the way to the right. It's going to print slow, but it's going to be worth it. Because you want all the ink to lay on the, the heat transfer paper. Click OK. And everything else is the same. Okay. Everything else is the same. Uncheck high speed. Uncheck mirror image. 
add your preset heat transfer paper ppd good to go click save and you're good now i'm going to show you about the printer as far as fixing the problem here oops so what i did i went to maintenance All right, excuse me, I'm doing this one hand. So I went to maintenance, this is not touch screen. This one had the problem. So once you do the print head cleaning, right? You can click okay, you can click start. It's gonna take, well this says it takes four minutes. And you can also do this for your workforce. So you go to settings. Anyway, you go to settings, you go to maintenance, and you're gonna find print head cleaning. So you're gonna press that and click start. Now, once that finish, right? For either printer, it's gonna ask you to do a printout. And this is the printout for the equal tank. Now I wasn't getting any kind of red. But now it's printing red. I just went ahead and did it anyway. Now right here for the workforce, did the printout. And this is what's popping right now. So that little line right there is not going to make you make it or break it, your design. So that's pretty good. And then once you print it out, all you got to do is stick it, use the same piece of paper. See right there, stick it back in the tray, and then it's gonna print out on the other side. So I did three of these, and I did about four of these already. Got the paper jam, but it looks pretty good. Hit print, print, equal tank, preferences, Heat transfer paper. Okay, print. Don't worry about that. I don't know why it's showing that. But we want the colors to be popping like this. This was printed out A sub on the workforce. Okay, got some light on it. Now this is this is the heat transfer paper, all right? It's the PPD. So this is what happened earlier. But compare it to sublimation paper. This is going to come out more vibrant, all right? But we're still going to do a test. So I'm going to do the A sub right now same printer a sub paper versus the heat transfer paper preference got the a sub okay and print all right so you see the registration marks This is from the workforce. This is from the equal tank. See how they matching up? This is A sub paper, just so you know. Okay, it's A sub, that's A sub. Okay, this is heat transfer paper. This is the PPD. So it's gonna come out a little bit more different on here because it's different, it's a different base. So you just got to keep that in mind. But if you're using sublimation paper, your colors need to be popping off like this. So if you got to go through your maintenance, if you got to run this two, three, up to five times, then you got to do it. I ran this about five times. So I hope this helps, you know, calibrate your screen. That way you can see what you're putting out. Also, 
you know, it's good to clean out the head on the printer. That way your designs will come out popping. You know, you may have to do it more than a couple of times. So just follow the instructions. It takes about a few minutes. Do the printout. Things ain't matching up. Keep cleaning it. So y'all stay blessed. Stay true. Catch you on the next video. I'm out.